I'm taking you on an adventure. I think it should be grand. I'm just getting ready. And um, we're going to a brocante um, that we have been already once, but I didn't film much, with my neighbors, Mandy and Bill. And um, yeah, let's see if we can find some treasures. <laughs> I am Amadeus, and I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a house. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. Can I say how much I am in love actually still with this new kitchen setup? I just really love this. It makes such a huge, huge difference to add just one shelf. And it, it changed the whole aspect of the kitchen. It looks kind of, yeah, more cohesive, a bit bigger. I don't know, somehow, yeah. I think it did change a lot, a lot, a lot. And look at all my cut flowers from the garden. I mean, now they're kind of starting to go a bit bad, but actually they're quite cute. And they're all tulips from my garden. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so happy with this. Okay, I think I need a belt, I need my stuff, and um, I need a bag. And yeah, then we'll be ready to go. So my outfit, <laughs> I always wanted to do this. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I really love this. I really love this jacket. I really love wearing this lighter jackets now. So it's just like Adidas. And this is, I don't even know something. I'm gonna have a very fashionable tote bag by Aditans Frankfurt, which is the um, association I'm part of. <laughs> of the independent dance scene in Frankfurt. So yeah. <laughs> so let's get the car out. Um, we're going with two cars because they're looking for a bookcase. And um, then I'll see you over there. So I was looking for vases and actually they have a really, really nice collection. This one is just really, really beautiful. They have so many things and so well sorted. So this one is a bit more pricey, but on the other hand, it's also just really, you can find real cute treasures here. And this is what I love about this place. So let's have a more look around. <laughs> So as you see, they have a huge selection of chairs and stuff, and it just continues down here. I don't go here very often, but I find like that this is really, really cool here. I just really love that. <laughs> so many pretty things. Does it say the year? Nineteen six no something five nineteen something five. Hmm. Look at all these beautiful. 
beautiful armworks. And this one's so tall and huge. Wow, oh, so lovely. So we did buy quite a bit, but it was quite cheap as well. So uh, it's all fine. I bought us uh, like another cafetiere for coffee um, for my guests. And yes, now um, Bill is backing in to here so that we can load up everything that they also bought. And they bought me a pot, a proper nice old pot for outside the chateau. <laughs> So just got back and stored all my goodies on the table and I think I'm really really hungry so let's make some lunch. I think I still have some gnocchi lying around somewhere and maybe we can just make them with a bit of a tomato sauce and some tofu. Super super simple and filling and then tonight we're going to dinner to my friends Joe and Tony who actually organized a little birthday, late birthday dinner for myself. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, going there with Bill and Mandy, who've been to the bull count with me just now. Uh, my boyfriend, Justine, and um, them too. It's really nice. <laughs> so we got our gnocchi, some onion, mushrooms, a bell pepper that has to go, and some canned tomatoes. And we're just gonna quickly throw it all together. It's the quickest lunch. Those, those gnocchi are perfect because they, you just pan fry them and uh, then they're ready to go. <laughs> all right, so I shortly actually mentioned that I'll be organizing a dance festival here in Les Signac du Rond and um, Exactly for that purpose, my boyfriend is coming down because I need to write the declaration to the town hall and I already did that. And he's gonna correct it and he's gonna explain my mix mistakes like this. I can also learn and profit from it, you know? That's why I didn't want him to be like, oh, just write it up and send that because I really wanna benefit from that, you know, and, and learn it. And yesterday I had my first um, phone call with the Ministry of Culture here and um, I was really, really nervous because like talking on the phone, is really like the last kind of thing uh, in the language, I find at least, because sometimes you don't understand really well, you don't see other people, you can't use anything else but your voice to communicate. So I was really stressed, but it worked out really nicely and the person was super, super nice, could help me with everything, so yay. And now I thought we're gonna do a little haul and I'm gonna show you all the things we got. I mean, it's not like, tons of things but let's let's have a look right so we have gotten i didn't i'm not sure if i did um mention it but i got the service um which consisted of funny enough two cups and it was um rated that it was from limoges it said i got another vase like a really small one i got a candle holder because i thought like uh you can never have enough and I got some sheets, and those sheets, um, those are old bed sheets, and I am using those old bed sheets actually to um, put them on the tables as tablecloths because they really work nicely as tablecloths, um, and they just give like a really cute vibe, and I like the the kind of like um, rose colored things. So basically, I was actually just looking for another um, cafetiere for another coffee, um, um, how do you call them? Coffee can. But this came, and I like this coffee can the best. I'm gonna show you in a minute. That's the one. So I um, really, really love this. I love the shape of it. I love the, the volume of it and um, the little details. Uh, I thought it was very matching to all the stuff that I already have and like this I can also fill it up and use it for guests also I, I just find it makes like a little cute touch extra for breakfast to actually use old cafetiers for um, the coffee to pour a coffee out so yeah like this I also have like a set of 
like I have a matching set for two people, uh, which if I have two guests um, of something, then yay, go me. And um, also I have a, I think this is used for sugar, the sugar bowl, which is perfect because I actually don't have a nice sugar bowl. So maybe it's gonna be exactly that. And that's it, that's the whole, whole haul. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, just waiting for my boyfriend to arrive and then we'll um, continue. Oh, that's the milk can. Just had coffee with my boyfriend. We went through that email, we sent it. Gosh, so many changes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're not an expert in the language and if you then have to write official letters, it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, oh, well, but I'm really thankful that he's there and he can help me and that my letters sound a bit more eloquent. <laughs> um, and I've also put up everything there, all the stuff that we bought next to the coffee stuff. So um, just had also coffee out of the new two mugs that were there, or two, two little tusks. And now I think I'm gonna head out with Anita because she needs a walk. I need a walk. And um, then I wanted to, I think I still wanted to do something in the garden. Don't remember what exactly. And I'm gonna call my parents actually because I haven't talked to them in a while. And because they were planning to get a puppy oh so cute so if everything works i think they're going to pick it up this weekend my mom wasn't so keen on the idea my dad was really 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 wanting one so um let's see i haven't talked to them for two days now so um let's see how that story ended up so another thing i also didn't tell you while i put my shoes on is um that i have an appointment for the door so um yeah you might have heard in one of the last few vlogs that I mentioned that I'm replacing the existing door um, with a new door and i um, so excited to get the new door. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna improve the quality because right now the door is it's fake old and it's really bad, <laughs> like really, really bad. The whole house is so cold because this door just lets in air, all the air and everything. So, um, Replacing it with a new door that also complies with all the safety regulations and everything. Oh, it's gonna be so nice, so beautiful. And it's gonna make my way easier also for guests because then I can um, install a smart lock and give them codes so they can enter the house. It is going to be a bit easier than having to tell them which lock and because this door has so many locks right now and none of them really work properly. And yeah, it's just a mess. So I'm really looking forward to actually having a functioning door, right, Aniti? <laughs> All right, let's go for a walk. <laughs> might say Damadeus didn't you say you are not going to do two vlogs per week yes I did and somehow I have to say that I miss it and I think I have time for it um, and another very pragmatic point of view is that I'm still adding up to my 4,000 hours of watch time until I can get monetized so um, having two videos per week actually helped before because i thought if i'm just gonna do one video 
like um, this video will get more views. But actually I found out that two videos per week have generated much more views than one video has. I mean, like, yes, it's obvious, but also somehow not maybe really. I mean, I thought, like, I don't know, if I could just put it into one video, it would be fine. But somehow it didn't work like that. So I'm going back to my two video strategy and I'm gonna do it as long as I can do it and be producing good content. So um, right now it's also really calm. So I don't have to worry about guests and things. And I think also like even with guests, um, I'll be able to produce two videos per week because I think mostly around the house, knock on wood, <laughs> I am finished until uh, this autumn, a at least like inside the house with stuff. And then we're going to continue in autumn because right now also is just a time where I need to focus on other things and also focus on the others out on the outside and all these things and also focus on some of the of the inputs that you gave me. I think somebody else wanted like a full tour again of the chateau so we can do like a tour of the chateau, tour, tour of the garden and what and maybe also talk a bit about the history uh, of the chateau and things like this. That's what I would really love to do in the next few weeks and also just take you along on my days letting you be part of it and yeah I think that's that's what what actually I really wanted to do. So yeah, let's see. Just finished cutting down some of the long, long grasses um, and I'm not a big fan of cutting down grasses, I have to say. I believe you shouldn't be cutting grass before May because it's really important for all the little creatures to live in there. Just cutting it back a bit like here and there just with those scissors that you saw um, around the bigger plants so it doesn't draw too much energy out of the soil for the bigger plants. But other than that, I'll just let it grow and grow wild wherever it wants. And I'll just I cut it down with the scissors like this, like really inaccurate and just let it mulch itself. Like this, I'm not removing any biomass from the garden. And as you saw, I planted some stuff in this beautiful new pot that I got. Gifted as a late birthday gift from my neighbors Mandy and Bill from the Balkans today. So it was really, really good and I think the placement is really nice and it's going to have a nice little moment there. And I planted some zinnias in there and also some yet. And yes, I'm going to see if, if it's going to go well with them or not or if we want to plant something else. I just want to start with this. Those were the seedlings I seeded um, and that had grown already and yes. I think that's it for garden work and now we can slowly move into the I need to wash my hands I want to shave actually and it is already five o'clock and at 6 30 I need to be at my neighbor's Joe and Tony. I changed again I can't decide what to wear today ah! I really do know this when you don't really know what to wear and what to put on Oh, that's how I feel today. It's horrible. But I think it's gonna be cute. I wanted to dress up a bit, but somehow I felt like if I dress up too much, it's gonna be like too much, you know? <laughs> and if I don't dress up enough, I don't know. I don't know. I feel I just felt like I wanted to wear a bit something cute. And I think this is gonna be it <laughs> for now. I mean, look, that's just like, I bought this um, shirt in Paris, actually. Quite cute, isn't it? with this little thing and then just gonna put the jacket over it and then we're ready for six minutes to go and I still need to do my French exercise so let's go the chateau looks so beautiful so I'm on my way to Joe and Tony's <laughs> which is literally there <laughs> 
that just around the corner. <laughs> Good morning. So, oh, the dinner yesterday was so lovely. They made such an effort. They cooked like a full vegan three course dinner for me. Oh, just so cute. It's just so cute. I didn't film any of it. Um, we were just really busy talking about different things and it's just a really, really nice evening and I just wanted to enjoy it amidst my friends. Um, but I'm so grateful for this community of people. Oh my god, just so nice people and such good friends I've made here. It's incredible. So if you've enjoyed this video, then leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I shall see you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for con contributing to this channel. A bientôt et au revoir. Bisous from the southwest of France. Bye.